Hello everyone, uh, this is Coin Metallurgist. I hope you're all doing well. I haven't posted videos regularly to this YouTube channel in quite a while, um, but in the last couple months I've been adding uh, a lot of coins, both US coins and world coins to my collection, and I want to share them with you. Um, look for videos coming soon or recently added to see some new additions to my collection. And I'm happy to announce uh, that next year I will have for the first time a budget for buying coins. So I intend to be adding um, a lot of exciting US and world coins as I continue my collection. And I hope you enjoy coming along with me for the journey. So in this video, I specifically wanna show you uh, three additions um, to the Queen's Beast uh, series. So um, when this series first started, I was able to, to keep up with them, but the two coins released in 2020 and 2021, I wasn't able to get them uh, the years they released. Um, and so I'm having to go back and try to get them. And of course, uh, it's kind of difficult to get these coins without paying a pretty significant premium. And that was true on, on the earlier years, and it's true on these ones also. Um, I have had to pay more for these ones than I've paid than I had paid for the other ones previously. Um, but part of that is just the price of silver having gone up in the last few years and uh, this series now uh, being over, um, people uh, still demanding them, you know, still having more demand for them. Um, with the addition of these three, I'm uh, only missing one coin now uh, in this series. I'm missing a 2021. Uh, of the Greyhound. Um, so uh, let's see, I'll show you these. We, in 2020, we have the White Horse of Hanover, and these are all two ounce uh, silver coins from the United Kingdom. And so they're, they're quite thick. I have to actually put them in uh, two and a half inch um, flips instead of two inch flips um, because of their thickness. They are like close to the standard like 38, uh, I think 38.6 millimeters diameter. So technically they would fit in um, my two inch flips, but with their thickness, they don't quite fit. Uh, this is the most recent one I got. This is the White Horse of Hanover. And I paid $70 for this. All three of these coins, I paid about $70 for them. I think um, the, the White uh, Horse of Hanover, I was able to get um, for 69. Now that's not right. I wrote White Horse of Hanover here, but this is the light, White Lion of uh, Mortimer. So I need to fix my note there. That's not right. And then this is actually a very cool one. This was the, the last coin they did in the series and they called it the Completer. And it has the designs of all the queen beasts uh, uh, around the circumference of the coin. Um, and I was really happy to get this one for the price that I did uh, because I often see this one selling for a much higher premium than these other ones. And so uh, to get this one for basically the same price, I think I paid $70 for it shipped. Um, I was really happy with that. Um, and you know, you look at that and it's two ounce coins. So that's $35 an ounce. That's a pretty hefty premium to be paying for, for a world silver coin. But, um, with this series, I think it will do really well. I think they'll, uh, retain their value. And so I'm, I'm okay paying that premium where I'm trying to complete this, uh, collection of these Queen's Beasts. I do have, uh, one more that I need to, to get to, again. Um, but I hope you just enjoyed taking a quick look at these new coins uh, with me. Um, certainly, if you have any suggestions or thoughts on what things I should be collecting or uh, ideas on, on these coins or comments on them, please make those below. And I hope to see you next time.